Hey everyone, John Henry here from School of Trade, and today we're going to be talking about day trading with zigzag patterns. So I'm sure you've noticed this before if you spend any more than a couple seconds in the market. The markets don't just move straight up. They don't just move straight down, and they don't just move sideways. There's waving in, inside of there. There's ups and downs, peaks and valleys all over the place. It doesn't matter if you're trending upward or trending downward. You're still having these movement where you pull back. Then you go higher, then you pull back. That movement is the tendency of the markets. So what we can use is the zigzag pattern to try to find high percentage areas to get in on those pullbacks or retracements or those peaks and valleys. Now we call this a zigzag pattern and they produce some pretty high percentage trading opportunities on really any market in the world. Uh, but looking at these peaks and valleys, all you have to do is connect them. So in this case, we're making new highs, right? The market structure is going to the upside. We're making consistent new highs. Everything is coming back. And actually, if we go back even further, you can see it's been a very strong uptrend day. So now that we know that we're looking for a bullish zigzag pattern, what we want to do is you just want to connect the peaks. So this lowest peak to the second peak or the first to second peak, or in this case, valley, you connect those two and you're waiting for the third valley to test that trend line. And that's going to be your entry. Now you're waiting for a bullish candle to figure that entry out. So the bullish candle fires off right there. That's your entry. Now, in terms of your entries, your exits, and you know your profit target stops, all of that, how do we calculate those? Well, first things first, the entry. We touch base on it a little bit, but you're waiting for the third test of that trend line, that, that in this case, that valley, that third valley to come back. Now, once we have a bullish candle that fires off off of that trend line, that's your entry signal. So you get long here. Now we're long. Where do we place our stop loss? Where do we place our, our you know, our targets? Where, how do we get into this position and get all of the areas selected? Well, first off, the stop loss is going to go below the second valley. So you've got first valley, second valley, that's where your stop loss goes. So your stop loss may be a little bit bigger, depends on the time frame you're trading. You want to make sure that this valley or where your stop loss goes maintains at least a 3% risk. You don't want to risk more than 3% on your account in any given trade. Otherwise, it's just too much. So a 3% risk, as long as you follow in that category, you know you're good. You can drop your stop loss right below that second valley there. Now, where's our profit target go? Well, the profit target, we're going to use one of those patterns that we're always big fans of, the AB equals CD pattern. So we're going to measure the second to technically the third. In this case, if you're looking at it in waves, you'd have one to two, three to four. We're measuring three up to four and projecting that line from four up to five. So what we can do is we can take and just draw a simple line on here. So we'll draw a low from the low to the high. And we'll make this line a little bit bigger so we can just easily see it there. And what we can do is just copy paste that line and we'll just move it right up to that entry where we got in. And our target is going to be right up here. That's where your target's going to be. Now, in this case, a lot of times with ABCD patterns, you see this pretty frequently, those target areas are front ran, which actually happened right here. We did end up finally going up and going that extra two ticks or so and filling it. But a lot of times it's usually just a little bit better if they're going to front run it and you start seeing some, uh, in this case, bearishness coming in as you close into that target, usually just better off just exiting out. But in that case, that's where your target's going to go. Now, the nice thing about this is this essentially pretty much keeps you at, you know, a one-to-one, -one, if not a little more. So our entry up here, we'll look at our entry right around 103.81 in this case to our stop loss, 16 ticks. Then we'll go up to our target area up here for 17 ticks. Now, if you would have got out a little bit because they front ran it, you might have gotten not quite 17 or 16 ticks, but it usually is a one-to-one -one trade. And that's the beautiful thing about these zigzag patterns. Now, you'll notice on my chart, I've got these white lines that are going back and forth and kind of doing a lot of the heavy lifting for me. All that is, is the zigzag indicator is part of NinjaTrader and definitely use it. It makes finding these patterns really, really easy. It makes it a lot easier to find them and a lot easier to trade them. So that's going to be trading with zigzag patterns. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send an email to School of Trade and don't forget to check out our trial at schooloftrade.com. Have a good one.